Second time's a charm. So anyways, hey guys, Doll Party 101 here, and currently it is Christmas Eve. I know, already. You know what we're doing a Christmas video, I need my Santa hat. Yeah, this is much better. But hey, other time zones, for some of you, I know it's already Christmas. Like, konnichiwa, people in Japan, you are like 13 hours ahead of me. Whoa! So anyways, guys, today I'm going to be doing a retelling of one of my favorite Christmas stories. It was the night before Christmas, and I'm going to be doing it with my dolls. Please don't copyright me. Let's see, this, see, this is here. There's my credits. So I'm going to quit running my mouth, and I say we just begin. "'Twas the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of Gabriella danced in their heads. And, and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang up from my bed to see what was the matter. Away with the windows, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and flew up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh, and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than angels, the courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the housetop, the courses they flew with all with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in fur from head to his foot, with his clothes all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow. Oh, and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old laugh, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. In spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon led me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, and went, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. He laid a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, and his team gave a whistle. Away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he went out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>